notorious Archimedes principle, popularly known as the physical law of buoyancy, was discovered by the ancient Greek mathematician Archimedes of Syracuse. The principle states that any object completely or partially submerged in a fluid, gas or liquid at rest is acted upon or governed by an upward or buoyant force. The magnitude of that force is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by the body. The volume of displaced fluid is equivalent to the volume of an object fully immersed in a fluid or to that fraction of the volume below the surface for an object partially submerged in a fluid. The weight of that displaced portion of the fluid is equivalent to the magnitude of the buoyant force. The buoyant force on a body floating in a liquid or gas is also equivalent in magnitude to the weight of the floating object and is opposite in direction. The object neither rises nor sinks. So in simple sense, buoyant force is equal to water displaced by the body. We've all wondered this at least once in our lives. The answer lies with the Archimedes principle. The propositions to explain this are If the weight of the water displaced is less than the weight of the object, the object will sink. Otherwise, the object will float, with the weight of the water displaced equal to the weight of the object. A ship that is launched sinks into the ocean until the weight of the water it displaces is just equal to its own weight. When the ship is loaded, it sinks deeper, displacing more water and so the magnitude of the buoyant force continuously balances the weight of the ship and its cargo. Submarine Have you ever wondered why submarines are always underwater? This phenomena is possible because they have a component called ballast tank, which allows the water to enter making the submarine be in its position underwater as the weight of the submarine is greater than the buoyant force. Hot air balloon Archimedes' principle also explains the reason why hot air balloons rise and float in mid-air. This is due to the fact that the buoyant force of hot air balloons is less than the surrounding air. When the buoyant force of hot air balloons is more, it starts to descend. This is done by varying the quantity of hot air in the balloon. Hydrometer A hydrometer is an instrument used for measuring the relative density of liquids. Hydrometer consists of lead shots which make them float vertically on the liquid. The lower the hydrometer sinks, lesser is the density of the liquid. This is another interesting application of the Archimedes principle. The reason behind the Archimedes principle is that the buoyancy force on an object depends on the pressure exerted by the fluid on its submerged surface. The Archimedes principle is easiest to understand and apply in the case of entirely submerged objects. Now let's study the phenomena of flotation and density. Density plays a substantial role in Archimedes' principle. The average density of an object ultimately determines whether the object floats or not. If suppose its average density is less than that of the surrounding fluid, the object will float. The sole reason for this is because the fluid, having a higher density, contains more mass and thus more weight in the same volume. The buoyant force, which is equivalent to the weight of the fluid displaced, is greater than the weight of the object. Likewise, an object denser than the fluid will sink. The extent to which a floating object is submerged depends on how the object's density is related to that of the fluid. For example, an unloaded ship has a lower density and less of it is submerged compared with the same ship loaded with cargo. We can derive a quantitative expression for the fraction submerged by considering density. The fraction submerged is the ratio of the volume submerged to the volume of the object. That's about it for this video. If you liked it, please share and subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Stay healthy and stay safe.